the moment with Patients Europe, we have a program called the Myeloma Access Atlas, where we've mapped access to 31 drug combinations across Europe that are licensed by the European Medicines Agency. And what we can see is that many countries do really well in terms of access, like Germany, France and Austria, and other countries um, such as non-EU Balkan countries are almost 10 years behind the standard of care. So there are huge inequalities and many countries don't meet the standard of care set out by EHA ESMO guidelines, which are universally agreed by the myeloma political community. So in terms of the access inequalities, I think there are varying and quite profound access challenges. And what we need to do as a, an advocacy community, both in myeloma and further afield, is to generate data to understand kind of what the challenges are. Because in order to address challenges, you need to know exactly what the situation is on the ground. Um, and then you can begin conversations and raise awareness of, of the issues that we need to, to tackle as a community. So our role is uh, multifaceted. So um, we need to generate data to support our members. We need to provide one-to-one -one support um, to our members to help them understand what the access challenges are. Uh, and also think about individual strategies to address them. And um, we also have a big role to play with raising awareness with policymakers at the European level and working with the pharmaceutical industry payers, HGA reimbursement bodies to really think about solutions to some of the, the situation that we're seeing at a national level um, and also to collaborate um, across communities to make sure that we're um, tackling these issues to improve patient outcomes.